today I'm going under the layout again, this time to install some switch cats. Come on down. I'm Roy Smith and you're watching my layout update for Saturday, February 29th, 2020. Like so many model railroaders, I used to think that layout wiring was an odious task. You know, all of that crawling under the layout, trying to unscramble tangled wires in the dark, and having hot solder dripping on my face. How exciting is that? Well, in this series of under the layout videos, I'm trying to show that wiring doesn't really have to be the most hated task we do on our layouts. Just keep it accessible, keep it easy, and keep it neat. I think those are the three secrets to more enjoyable layout wiring. Now, I don't want you to miss any of the upcoming videos, so be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet, and hit the notification bell. Remember, I upload Dispatch, the weekly show for model railroaders on Tuesday nights and layout updates such as the one you're watching right now on Saturdays. Now, as I said, I'm going to be installing NCE switch cats today. This is an NCE switch cat. Switch cats are used to throw cat -o turnouts remotely. Long ago, I decided to use them to control the 12 turnouts in my staging yard because they are designed to work with cat -o turnouts and because I power my layout with NCE DCC. I decided to use them for the six turnouts at each end of my staging yard because there is only eight inches of clearance between the upper level of my layout and the lower level where the staging yard is located. For that reason, it is a little difficult to see which way those 12 turnouts in the staging yard are thrown. Controlling them remotely from my throttle will help me deal with this problem. You may recall that I uploaded a video about installing the first two of the 12 switch cats in my staging yard six months ago in August of last year, 2019. I will put a link to that video down below so that you can go watch it in its entirety later on. In the meantime, let's go back to the video for a moment to see how I connected and programmed those first two switch cats. Now this is the switch cat itself. First, I strip the red and black wires from the turnout so that I can connect them to the switch cat. Now I'm connecting them to the switch cat. Next, I connect the blue and white wires that come from my layout bus. All right, it's time to program the switch cat. To do this, I first have to install a temporary jumper wire to the programming and ground connections, as this diagram shows. Here you can see that I've connected the temporary programming wire. Now I press the accessory button on my power cab then number four as the address of the turnout I'm programming, and then I hit the enter button. After programming the switch cat as I have just done, I remove the temporary jumper wire. Now I'm ready to throw the turnout using my throttle. I do this by pressing the accessory button on my power cab, then choosing either one for normal switch position or two for reverse or diverging position. Lo and behold, it works. Okay, returning to the present day. After installing and programming those first two switch cats, I never got around to doing the other 10. Well, I guess it's okay because I'm going to start installing the rest of them today. In previous episodes in this Under the Layout series, I showed you how I attached a one by two inch board to the benchwork on which to put my electrical components. This is where I'm going to attach the switch cats. I also showed you the LED lights that I installed under the benchwork so that I can see what I'm doing when I'm working under there. 
but I don't really have to go under the layout at all. I can just sit here in my comfortable chair, as I'm doing right now, to wire my layout. Here you see those two switch cats that I installed in August 2019. They're attached to the 1x2 temporarily using Velcro pads like this one. I will attach all six of the switch cats at this end of my staging yard permanently to the 1x2 when I am sure exactly where I want them to go. So here's what I'm going to do today, mostly off camera. I'm going to mount the six switch cats on the 1x2 temporarily with Velcro pads. I'm going to connect the appropriate turnout wires to each switch cat. I'm going to connect the layout bus wires to each switch cat using terminal barrier strips that I plan to install here. I will program each switch cat to respond to a specific number on my throttle just as you saw me doing earlier in the video clip. And finally, I will test each switch cat. I will be back in a little while to show you what I've done. There, that didn't take so long, did it? Thanks to the magic of videography. I have now installed all of the switch cats. I have labeled them with a number from one through six. And I have programmed each one with that number so that I can throw each one remotely using my throttle. Up in the staging yard, each turnout has a corresponding number on what I like to call mile posts. I used my label maker to create the numbers on the mile posts. I've tested them and they all work perfectly. Now let me pick just one of them to show you how I throw the turnouts using my NCE power cab. Let's go with turnout number two. Hit select accessory, two for turnout number two, enter, hit two for turnout reverse or diverging position. In the future, I may add momentary contact push buttons and position indicator lights on the fascia to go with the switch cats. Now 844 at the head of an excursion train with 1943 in consist is about to depart from the staging yard. I've aligned the turnouts. Here we go. That's how it's done, and it wasn't so bad, was it? If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm going to put a link to my Under the Layout playlist down below. Be sure to check it out, and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done it yet. Well, I'm Roy Smith. I will see you again very soon, because 
you bottle railroaders are my best friends in the whole world. Until then, happy railroading.